So we're here at the Stockholm World Water Week. Uh, can you show your yes. name badge? Yeah. Introduce yourself. I'm uh, Gayatri Devi, KG, mm -hmm. and uh, I represent uh, the Institute for Social and Economic Change. Mm -hmm. It is in the south of India, Bangalore. It is a policy making institute for social science research and it is an institute with a lot of holistic framework with about 8 to 9 centers of excellence like education, health, economics, decentralization, gender, uh, sociology and ecological economics from where I have come here. Uh, in fact, uh, I am not an expert in water nor in environmental issues. It is quite, uh, I am a baby there. But my work has been so far in social structure and social mobility, uh, particularly in some of the traditional countries where occupation is linked to one's birth. And uh, sometimes some of the occupations like cleaning, keeping sanitation, garbage removal and management are always linked to a low stigmatized occupations. And uh, there somehow uh, my work has shown that uh, the introduction of decentralization since 1991, it is a success in India with the rural areas really empowered with their own people elected to power as local leaders, particularly women for whom we have 33.3% reservation of seats, but always women have far excelled that reservation and up to 50% they are getting elected wow. and uh, they know the surroundings very well with the help of self-help groups and a lot of women in the panchayats, that is a local word for decentralization. Okay. Uh, there is a lot of good governance which has come up. Now shifting the venue to the urban areas, my expectation is if there is a good governance, then the manual scavenging which is still taking place, human being, the, the, the low caste people with their bare hands cleaning the human excreta in some of the towns okay. and shifting that in baskets to better places. Uh, saying that flush toilets are not possible because there is no water. Mm. I think with abundant, adequate, efficient water supply, I think this very dehuman practice, uh, very bad practice, inhuman practice can be attended to, I feel. And uh, these sections of society, although they have all the reservation facility given by the government, uh, there is sub-oppression within the group. Like among them, the very low, those who have migrated from rural areas, they are forced to take up these occupations of cleaning the drains. The children are put to child labor and girls are asked to stay put at, at home to help the mothers to go and do some wage work. Mm -hmm. So, you know, lot of health issues there. So I am just trying to see if water is managed better through decentralized governance in urban areas. I think this uh, very defiling occupation of manual scavenging can be addressed to I feel. That will be a flag in India's development. Wow, yeah, that <laughs> sounds you. like a good challenge. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.